Hey everyone, it's Mark, Skipper Mark. We're about to do an oil change on Matt's truck and put some spacers in on the back wheels to make them stick out a little bit further. Thanks for watching and have a great day. One of the things Matt does is fill the filter with oil. That way it's not dry and it helps get oil in the system quicker. So Matt did a distributor swap a couple weeks ago and it required, um, since it has a gear that attaches to the camshaft, it required a break-in period. So he did the break-in period and that's the reason for the oil change today. He's just cleaning his um, oil plug and it's a magnetic one so he can see if there's any metal chunks on it from the break-in. Where's the chunk? Right there. So on the 1984 K10 pickups, the rear wheels are inset on the axle by one and a half inches per side. So Matt got uh, two spacers that he's gonna put in. So the wheels line up with the front ones. I didn't know this, but Matt said the front end on the 84 K10s is actually a Dana 44. And um, some people on the internet say that's the reason that the axles are different size. I'm not sure if that's true, but I didn't even know they weren't uh, a Chevy product. It's always a good idea to clean around uh, where the wheel goes with a steel brush just to get any, you know, rust chunks off or anything like that. The instructions say don't use a um, impact gun to put the spacers on. So Matt's just using his torque wrench and then he's torquing them to 80 pounds. I couldn't find torque specs for a truck like this with those thousands of them. <laughs> so I just did 80. hard to tell but if you look down the side of the truck the back wheel is definitely in a tiny bit more than the front wheel. Now if you look at this side which is done they're pretty even. So Matt always likes to get uh, good quality spacers and these are from a company called Motor Tech Sports. Motor Sport Tech. Sorry, see? That's why he's gonna tell us a little bit more about them and why they're better than some of the cheaper ones. So the better ones, they're hub centric. So the wheel sits on the hub here and then the spacer actually sits on the hub on the truck. And then they use better quality, I guess, steel for the studs and then the metal they're made out of. And one of the guys Matt works with got a cheaper brand and they vibrate now when he drives. Once he hits a certain speed, the truck starts to shake. Wonder if he forgot that he has to go back and finish the oil change. It's 
funny when you do that because when you put it on with the, the impact gun, to me it seems like it's really tight. Oh, because I got in the weakest mode. So oh. it's like 20 foot pounds. Oh, okay. That's as tight as it goes, like 20. Huh. Yeah, no. Because I don't want to over tighten them. Right. Yeah, it's like sitting there going, Ugh. Yeah. And I'm thinking it's like, wow, those are tight. And then you can go so much more. Because mm -hmm. you'll overdo them with, you know, with the, if you do it on the maximum setting. So what do you all think? Should Matt get his truck painted? Uh, the bed is newer and the color that's on it is the color that the truck should be. The doors and the body of the truck are uh, the factory color and reflect 36 years of fading. Should he leave it two-tone like this so it, you know, so you know it's um, older? Or should he get it all painted so it matches nicely? He's really not sure what to do. He's kind of undecided. So let us know in the comments below. We're really curious what everyone thinks. Matt likes to use Valvoline racing oil with a high zinc content because he's got an aftermarket flat tappet cam and aftermarket valve springs. This is a bonus thing that Matt's doing. I didn't know he was going to do this. It's a sensor that tells the fans when to go on. That's Jimmy, our resident squirrel. I think he's pooping. Did you just poop in our yard, squirrel? Oh. <laughs> As Nancy and Matt dump the used oil and prepare it to take to the recycling center, I just wanted to thank everyone for watching the video. And if you have any questions or anything, you know, drop us a comment and we will reply as best we can. Thanks again and have a great day. The cat